Philadelphia. That's the setting for our broadcast today. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Philadelphia 76ers here in Wells Fargo Center. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. On the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. Well, one thing is certain. Anyone who looks at Draymond Green's scoring is missing his impact. Last season, Green had the most 15-plus assist games in NBA history by a non-guard. And he averaged more assists and more rebounds than he did points. And his defense, of course, remains all NBA. Guys? What a unique player. And defense is his calling card for sure. David, thank you. A moment now to check out who's leading in the all-star voting. And a lot of fans and players interested to see how this thing all turns out. Take a look at Thompson. He's among the top ten in the voting in the Western Conference. The fans rewarding him for a tremendous season so far. And I'm sure he's grateful for that. But, Kevin, I know what he really wants is a spot in that starting lineup. And it seems like the anticipation just continues to build each year around this time of the season. Going to be a fantastic weekend. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with James Wiseman. And for the 76ers, the stars of this team in the post, Harris and MB. Outside the wings are Curry and Green. And it's Maxi in at the point. And Greg, when it comes to load management, why do we see more of it now than when you play? Well, for me, the science of sport has evolved and, and it's not just the athlete it's the technology and the science that goes into making a better athlete that's why you're seeing low management far more acceptable to the masses now understanding that this is about the long game i really believe we can go ahead now and lock clay thompson in on the short list of the greatest pull-up shooters in the nba and we might be talking the all-time list here now here's curry And here's MB over Thompson. MB, no good. To the inside. And Wiseman gets it to go on the assist from Green. And you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. The pass to Harris. Down low, MB up and in on the layup. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Curry. He had 25 points last game. And that one's good. Wiggins. Tell you what, for a small forward, Wiggins is strong inside of me. And only growing in confidence, too. That's scary for the opposition. 76ers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Pass to Harris. Pass to Green. Lock at six. There's Embiid. And it's good off the glass. Embiid's got his second bucket. Embiid has such balance and agility for a big man. He's able to work through contact and still finish with touch. On the wing, Wiggins lets the three fly. Green with the rebound. The 76ers have gone two for four from the field so far today. Here's Harris. That one misses. Great T that time from Green. Outside Curry. Shoots the three. Hits it from three-point range. Anytime Curry gets a look from deep, he's letting it fly. And he's probably knocking it down, too. Axie passes to Curry. Over to the left wing. Now here's MB. 23 points his last outing. Here's Green. 
Passes to Thompson. Fires from deep. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his third assist on the night. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Maxi, he gives the team some steady offense a bit under 10 points a game and Embiid throws it down watch out now the process is at work and we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter you'd be hard pressed to find someone more confident than Embiid he's got plenty of confidence and he's a funny guy too extremely entertaining he said the mindset I get when I'm on the floor is that I'm the best player in the gym and much of the time, he ain't wrong. The 76ers trail by seven. Now, here's Maxi. No points in the game hit for him. Count it. We are going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. Now, here's Curry. Here's Wiseman. Good D by Embiid. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity from mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that. Another shot. And Wiseman sends it back. And putting in work on the defensive end. Wiseman's SWAT providing a spark to his team. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. The shot by Thompson, no good. Philadelphia shooting 33% here in the first quarter. Here's Maxi. Kept alive. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Don't care how strong you are, how big you are, what you think you can do, MB is a low to handle. And Joel will get to the line. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Warriors? Well, I'll tell you what, they must have had a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. The first one falls. Last season, Embiid posted career highs as a score. And, Greg, he did it with unbelievable efficiency. And how about hovering around that coveted 50-40-90 club? What's amazing is how comfortable he looks. The defense is never able to speed him up. Porter's checked in for Golden State. And MB drops them both. And, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Thompson against Curry. Takes the three. Curry can't get it to go. And, and already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Curry with it. He averages over 27 points a game and seems to always find a way to score. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. And the 76ers with possession. They're rolling here with a nine-point run. Maxi passes to Embiid. Love the way Embiid knows how to play with force down low, which in turn makes the defense get physical with it. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the 76ers. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. Kuminga's come in for James Wiseman.
and MB drops them both. It, and it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Trailing by two. Thompson in the corner. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Thompson's got his third basket of the night right there. Philadelphia has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Now the pass to Maxi. Kicks it to Harris. Pass to Embiid. Five on the clock. Let's it go from deep. Hits the three-point bomb. Harris has got a couple of threes now in the first with a 76 ers And over time, as its game has evolved, Harris has accepted a bigger expanded role. Knows he has the green light. Here's Thompson. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got his sixth rebound on the night. Green taking his time here. To the paint. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 12 in the game. Well, you know, there's only so much you can do against Embiid, guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, he plays pretty much through any kind of contact. Now here's Thompson. Coming in off a 21-point game his last outing. Golden State moving it around. A shot by Curry. No good. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. On the wing, Green. He's covered by Thompson. And Bede kicks to Curry. Now, here's Maxi, Guarded close. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now, here's Thompson. Nine points in the game so far. Shot to stop the run. Good on the triple. Curry's got his second bucket of the game to go. Curry's release is so quick. As a defender, you can't afford to give him any space. You can't lay off at all. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Well, something, Greg, we can't take for granted. It's nice just to see Klay Thompson out on the floor. No doubt, Kevin. You know, the NBA is just a better league with a healthy Klay Thompson. Makes this team more fun to watch. Good for humor and one incredible performance a year. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Andre Drummond's checked in for Embiid. Matisse Thibel comes in for Green. Mark Maas, he's checked in for Seth Curry. And it's Shake Milton in for Maxi. Peyton, he's checked in for the Warriors. A shot by Milton, no good. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Now, here's Porter. Over Milton. Bank shot. No good. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Philadelphia leading by three. Now, Thibel pass to Milton. Driving to the basket. And on defense, Curry's quickness really pays off. Able to stay all over the shooter. Wiggins drives in. And Wiggins throws it down. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a manny, but a facial. Oh, a bounce to the ounce, Greg? Yeah, showing off the bunny. He's a highlight reel, always on the launch pad. And here are the 76ers now. The Warriors making the shot. Passes it to Harris. The pass to Korkmaz. On deep. 
That one doesn't go. The Warriors go the other way with it, fresh from a win against Portland. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. Well, it really showed the trust they have in one another. I love how they got after it, and you could feel that they were playing for each other. And the playmaking ability. Curry, good at looking out for his guys and getting them the ball. 76ers trailing. Here's Milton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Harris. And he drives in. Porter against Drummond. Here's Korkmaz. Pass to Thibault. They need this one. Here's Drummond, and Drummond throws it down. There are a few men in the league that attack the glass as well as Drummond does. He's almost unstoppable chasing down second points. He's a tenacious and ferocious offensive rebound. Now here's Curry. He's got six. Porter passes to Kaminga. And the officials call a traveling violation. And Philadelphia making a change here. Niang's checked in. And it's Drummond with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Korkmaz kicks to Milton. Passes it to Drummond from 12 feet out. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. A minute 42 left in the first quarter. Peyton passes to Curry. And they pick up two. Curry's got eight points. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Knocked loose. It's taken away by Peyton. And here they go. And finished off by Porter. Porter showing you what he can do, rising to the cup and punching it down. Here's Korkmaz. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And there's the pass to Milton. Now, here's Thibault. 104 left to play here in the first. Second shot opportunity. And they get it back. Niang. Here's Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Boy, a little contact will not deter Drummond. I mean, he gets physical right back and finishes strong. Now here's Curry, defended by Milton. Here's Peyton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The Warriors shooting their first free throws of this game. Good from Peyton, and the Warriors making a change here. Iguodala is checked in. And both free throws good for Peyton. The 76ers trail by four. And here is Milton. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And it's Drummond with the jam. Watch out below. Big man coming through. Oh, I love seeing Drummond attack with that kind of ferocity. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Peyton. Porter against Drummond. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Now, here's Milton. Guarded by Kirk. Milton the pass to Drummond. 
Whistle blows. That's going to be a travel. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State Warriors. He delivered nine points from three-point range that quarter. Terrific work from distance. Right back after this break. And this Warriors team has an interesting mix of championship vets with hungry young players. Andrew Wiggins spoke about that great dynamic. That's my team love to teach. A good player, they're always telling us why we did it, why you should do this, why you should do that. So it's been a lot of learning and also been very exciting uh, for the young players. Agreed. No doubt Wiggins has been soaking up that wisdom. Greg stepping up his game in the process. Yeah, a big culture shift coming from Minnesota. And he's blossomed under the tutelage of these Hall of Famers. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Well, player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So on the floor for Philadelphia. They've got Korkmaz. He's out there with Shake Milton. Andre Drummond is out there with Matisse Thibel. And it's Niang in at the four-man position. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Clay Thompson has lost two prime years to a torn ACL and then a ruptured Achilles. He says so many athletes have been through this. It's just a new set of challenges. With my style of play, I feel I can be effective till my late 30s. I plan on being the all-NBA player I was and won't settle for anything less. Guys, that will be a great comfort to his team. Indeed, and who's going to doubt him? I love his attitude. Undaunted. David, thank you. Here's Niang after James Weissman's bucket. Niang kicks to Milton. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And Peyton throws it down. And you look at the 2021 draft class, just some unbelievable talent at the top. I mean, Kay Cunningham, for me, probably is the consensus best player. But, man, you got guys like Suggs and Green and Kaminga with that rare athleticism. I mean, how about Mobley? He really defines what a modern-day big is supposed to be. I mean, what more could you want? Maxie's checked in for Shake Milton. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Four on the clock. From about 16... Green with the block. Green takes great pride in his defense now. He loves the nine shots at the rim and playing bigger than his 6'8 frame would lead you to believe. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. Here's Drummond following the score by Golden State. Baseline jumper. Wiseman with the rebound. Looking at Philadelphia, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Jazz. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I, I think they were shocked. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything joined against you. Very frustrating. The 76ers trail by six. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. And it goes. Nice one there from Niang. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Golden State's gone 6 of 10 from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Now, here's Poole. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. 
it's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Here's Maxey. 11 points for him in that last game against Utah. Here's Truman. That one good for two. Now just a two-point warrior lead. And, you know, Drummond has no problem playing through contact. He excels at using that strong body of his to fight through contact and finish. 76ers have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Now, here's Maxi over Peyton. He shoots again, and Wiseman sends it back. Here's Green. Rebound by the 76ers. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Maxi passes to Thiper. That misses had a chance to tie it there. Warriors shooting 44% from the floor since we began the second quarter. It's good. Eight points for James Wiseman. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Timeout called the 76ers. And how about getting the band back together? I mean, Iguodala in a Warriors uniform, considered retirement, and couldn't resist one more run with the team he's won three titles with. And the 76ers with some changes. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for George Nian. Green comes in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Seth Curry in for Korkmaz. The Warriors also with a sub. Thompson's checked in. So good at figuring out ways to get inside. Seth Curry working on improving this part of his game. Here's Poole. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. The Warriors have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. First one drops. All three throws good from Poole. The 76ers trail by four. To Embiid inside Drummond makes that one his sixth of the night, shooting a very healthy six for nine. Everything the big man does is working right now. It's Andre Drummond's night. Keep that ball coming to him. Now here's Thompson. He's got nine. Passes it to Iguodala. Drummond working against Green. Stolen. Here's Maxi. The feed now to Embiid. And Wiseman sends it back. Second chance shot. Thompson with the rebound. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Andre Drummond picks one up. When he keeps his emotions in check, Green is a fantastic leader on the court. He can run a little hot, but there's no doubting his drive, his willingness to do whatever it takes to win. And he knocks down the first one. Harris has checked in for the 76ers. Yeah. 
and both free throws good for Green. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. Now here's MB. He's got 12. Broke loose. Over Thompson. And that one hits back iron. Warriors leading by four. To the middle. Wiseman no good. And James Wiseman picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. Up next for him, the Grizzlies at the FedEx Forum. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Here's Embiid. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. Green with the ball. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Oh, oh that oh. was terrific! Man, I like the aggressiveness of Iguodala. I mean, remarkable at taking it all the way to the rack. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Maxi, no good. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. Here's Thompson. And the layup is good. And it's an eight-point Warrior lead. And just tough trying to knock Thompson off balance. Outstanding at fighting through any challenge presented. Harris against Green. Harris misses. That's exactly how you win a rebound battle. Get good position and then use your strength to hold on to that position. Thompson outside. And here's Iguodala outside. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Curry. That one falls. Curry's got four points in the quarter. It helps when Seth Curry is on the attack. He wants to get as close to the rim as possible. Timeout called the Warriors. And the latest wrinkle in Seth Curry's game, creating for others with consistency. And he's taking time with his reads, letting the defense commit then making his move. All part of that maturation process. Different look here for the Warriors. Otto Porter Jr., he's checked in for Wiseman. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Green. Kuminga's come in for Andre Iguodala. And Stephen Curry subbed in for Jordan Poole. Curry attacking. And Embiid with the block. Incredibly light-footed at seven feet tall. Embiid can cover a lot of ground defensively. It's Curry outside. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Curry passes to Maxi. Wiggins against Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. On the wing, Green. Here's Embiid. Count it good. Embiid's got 14 points for the game. Embiid right there to get the rebound and put it right back up. Excellent anticipation. Outside, Porter. On the wing, Thompson. From outside, off the mark. Three triples in the first quarter, but he's yet to knock one down here in the second. And Embiid throws it down. You know, with all he does offensively, at his size, Joel Embiid is like a cheat code, a special talent. Outside Curry takes a three, knocks down the three ball. He's got 11. It's first triple of the second quarter, third of the game. The 76ers trail by five. And here's Maxi. Now Embiid got a piece of it. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Embiid. Woo! 
Warriors leading by five. On the wing, Wiggins. Thompson way outside. That falls. Ice feed that time from Wiggins. Thompson's got five points in the quarter. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Offensive rebound. Golden State's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. The pass to Wiggins. And Wiggins throws it down hard. Making the impossible look easy. Wiggins with the great creativity in the air. He typically hangs in the air a little longer than the average bird, though. High post, B. On the way, Harris looking to end the run. The Warriors pull it in. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. To the wing right side. Here's Kaminga. No good that time. Some solid defense from Harris. And the call will go against Jonathan Kaminga. That is his first foul of the game. The 76ers trail by 10. Maxi passes to Curry. To the paint. It's good. Nice touch there for Maxi. And that's now six points for Tyrese Maxi. It's Thompson off the drive. A beautiful reverse layup. Thompson's got the lead back up to 10 now for the Warriors. Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter that I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. Philadelphia shooting 38% from the field, a pretty weak showing for them. That's to Maxi. Now here's Curry. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. Back to Embiid from 17 feet out and misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Thompson inside the line, and Philadelphia grabs the miss. And Bede's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Green dishes to Harris. Now, here's Maxi, guarded by Kirk. Up there for MB. And what an alley you Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. And so it's the Golden State Warriors holding on to an eight point lead, heading into the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Joined by Doc Rivers. Coach, what did you think of the effort in the first half? Well, the effort's fine, I guess. Uh, defensively, we got to be better, so that's part of the effort. But they're just scoring too easy. They're throwing us around. They are so much more the physical team right now, so we got to pick up our physicality. I'm sure that will be discussed thoroughly before the next half. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Clay Thompson putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He had 16 points, four rebounds, and two assists. So far, he's played a big role for his team here. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? They built this lead from the perimeter. You know they have shooters to do it. We know sometimes they play this It's one of those games that's going on by the script. Impressive performance thus far. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Philadelphia? They didn't shoot the ball very well. And that's because they didn't have any flow on offense. I'd expect the coaching staff to make some adjustments in the locker room. They need to draw up some plays to get a good offensive win. 
And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Joel Embiid has been sensational. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. The 76ers trail by eight, setting the floor for the Warriors. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. James Wiseman's out there with Andrew Wiggins. Here's Wiseman. That one, no good. How the 76ers take it the other way. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Pass to Thompson. Shoots over Curry. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Thompson's got 18 points in the game. And when Thompson gets off a clean jumper, you just expect it to go in. He is that kind of shooter. Knocks it loose and stolen by Wiggins. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. Thompson for three. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got six assists now in the game. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long-distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Passes it to Maxi. He dishes it to Harris. Unloads from 13. They get it back. MB lays it up and banks it in. And Bede's got 20. He's just too big, too powerful, too skilled. Not worried about whoever's defending him at all. There's the pass to Curry. Over Maxi. Curry can't get it to go. The 76ers trail by nine. Free with the block. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Higgins outside, from outside the arc. Another three for Golden State. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. 76ers have gone two of four here to start the second half. Here's Maxi. Drives to the hoop. Can't hit that one. Warriors leading by 12. Curry passes to Thompson. Inside. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yep, and an opportunity for one more at the line. Wiggins with the toughness to finish through contact. And Wiggins thrive as a secondary option. Seems that is the role he's best fit for. His efficiency soared. throw good Wiggins and with Wiggins he didn't face the same pressure Greg it was a huge weight off his shoulders and that mental aspect impacts players Wiggins was asked to do less and as a result ended up doing more Curry passes to Embiid five to shoot the 76ers with another miss here's the Warriors with the ball Bringing it together. They've got an 11-2 run going. Now here's Wiggins. D right on him. Outside Curry. For three. And Embiid with the block. And even three on three break. Here's Green. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. 
And, of course, Green's contributions go well beyond the numbers at this point. Agree. This is a guy who knows about winning, Greg. I mean, he's done it a number of places, multiple championship teams where he's played a significant role. And he brings that championship mindset to the locker room. He misses the free throw. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Drummond comes in for Embiid, and it's Quirkmaz in for Seth Curry. And the Warriors also making a change. Gary Payton has checked in for Thompson. He hits the second from the line. Well, you know, the value of Green's career experience cannot be overstated. Those intangibles are extremely valuable. He has shared locker rooms with some of the best players in the NBA. A three-pointer, Wiggins. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's the floater. Great read that time by Wiggins, anticipating the shot. Sends it out with return to sender Poston. The 76ers again can't hit it. Here's Curry. He's got 11. Here's Weisman. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Wiseman. And you got to respect how quickly Wiseman has adapted to big league play. He hit the ground running and has not looked back. Always growing as a player. And the Warriors making a change here. Pools checked in. Second free throw, no good. And you watch Harris. He's been playing with a high level of confidence. Well, Greg, he puts the work in during the offseason. It's obvious. That's why his game looks like it comes easier to him now because he's refined it through his work in the offseason. And in a lot of ways, he's bearing the fruit of that labor, and it's fun to see. If you look at the leaders in rebounding, it's almost a sure thing that Drummond's name is going to be near the top of that list. That's the kind of impact on the boards he's made over his career. That one is off. And Greg, when it comes to players who've led the league in rebounding, very few have done it as many times as Drummond. And of the guys that have done it more than twice, like Andre, I've got some good news for him. Every one of them is either in the Hall of Fame or soon will be. And he's good on the second. Selected ninth overall in the 2012 draft, Drummond's carved out a nice NBA career for himself. Pass to Wiseman. I got yours, I got yours. Back to Poole. And there's the drive. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. Drills the three-pointer. Peyton's got 10 points in the game. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. Poole kicks to Payton. To the inside. And Wiggins throws it down. Rising above the rim. Wiggins encounters very few defenders who can meet him up at that apex. 
The 76ers trail by 17. It's Drummond, high post. Bobbed up there for Drummond. And he lays in the alley -oop. Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley -oop textbook, boys. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. And a nice touch on the finish. Out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. As NBA revenues climb into the tens of billions of dollars, teams have even more resources to compete. Staffs are growing with more coaches, trainers, and specialists, so general managers have more to manage than ever. Generally, the best organizations are those that effectively collaborate and communicate across the board. Kevin? And D.A., as we know, that's always been the case. Thank you. Poole kicks to Peyton. Golden State moving the ball around. Igudala, the pass to Poole. Over Maxi. And too long on the shot. And it's Harris with the ball for the 76ers. A shot by Milton, no good. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. From down low, Eisman. Rebound by the 76ers. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Poole, the pass to Wiseman. Back to Poole. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Poole's got his second bucket of the night. Well, Wiseman's passing game is a work in progress, but he's smart enough to spot the wide-open man there. Now, here's Maxi, guarded by Poole. Ball's not loose. It's taken away by Peyton. Driving in. Iguodala, no good. The 76ers trail by 14. And Harris, wide open. He shoots. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Starting. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take it. Timeout called the Warriors. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the Coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. And the 76ers making a change here. Eibel's checked in. Otto Porter Jr., he's checked in for Golden State. Kaminga comes in for Andre Iguodala. Kaminga, the pass to Porter. He kicks it to Wiseman. Porter inside. Harris is there. Shot clock at six. The shot by Peyton, no good. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Now, here's Maxi, guarded by Poole. Milton with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Drummond. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Up next for them is the Pacers in Indianapolis. And that game will be game two of five out on the road. Feeds it to Peyton. Out left of the wing. Here's Wiseman. And again, no good by Golden State. The 76ers trail by 12. Here's Feibel. Hits the front of the rim and out. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. you got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. And just wait until Wiseman has time to develop his moves, which are still somewhat raw at this stage. Philadelphia has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Pass to Harris. Bible on the wing. Pass to Maxi. Just five to shoot. Here's Drummond. Warriors with the rebound. Heisman's got his fifth rebound in this one. 
Kaminga kicks to Peyton. Cool on the wing. Down low, there's Kaminga. The layup off target. The 76 are shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high quality shots. Here's Poole. He's got six. The pass to Peyton. Porter inside. It's Drummond with the rebound. The 76ers trail by 12. Harris inside. Covered by Peyton. A nice shot by Harris. And you know what? He's shaken off the cold shooting performance from the first half. Peyton outside. Pass to Kaminga. Now here's Wiseman. Defended by Drummond. Here's Peyton. And Feibel sends it back. And it's Otto Porter with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And some changes here for the 76ers. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Drummond. George Niang comes in for Tobias Harris. And it's Seth Curry in for Maxi. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. And here is Milton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's Embiid. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists now in this one. Now, here's Poole. Guarded by Curry. Poole, the pass to Kaminga. Out to Thompson. It's stolen by Milton. Pass to Feibel. One thirty-three left in the third quarter. Inside. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That's on James Wiseman. Embiid is unstoppable. Just too strong for the defense. No matter what they throw at him. Let's look at the energy stats. How the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. At this point of his career, winning is everything to Embiid. He's tired of early round playoff exits, and he wants to try to win championships. Curry is inside. Defended by Milton. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got 13. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. We've got 113 left in the third quarter. Embiid kicks to Niang. Outside Curry. Puts it up from 12, and he knocks down the jumper. He has six. Seth Curry's game in the mid-range area continues to look better, taking advantage of all opportunities. Here's Wiseman, guarded by Embiid, passes to Thompson. Curry dishes to Thompson. Four on the shot clock. And no good. Now the 76ers take it the other way. The pass to Curry. Another three for Philadelphia. At the arc, Curry's so consistent. I mean, he'll knock it down every chance he gets from there. Here's Curry. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Floats one up. 
No one near Curry as he lets it go. Another three for Philadelphia. That's Curry's shot there. I mean, he's out there to catch and fire away when he's got room. And finished off by Porter. Excellent feed from Steph Curry. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Warriors lead by three. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. The guard pairing is Milton and Kirk. And there's Embiid. Then it's Green. And it's Niang in at the four spot. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Wiggins passes to Kaminga. And finished off by Kaminga. Staying alert and aware. Wiggins sees his man flash to an open spot. Passes right on the money. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Here's Curry with the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Curry's got 11 points here in just the second half. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land, giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Oh, how about an athletic play? by Curry. There's some contact, but he slips by it and gets it to go. To the inside. MB. Another shot. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. There's Kaminga. Banked in off the glass. Kaminga's got four this quarter. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Now, Milton. Pass to Kerr. There's the triple. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. Curry outside. Drops in the tray. Curry's got 20 points. And it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Six-point game. Niang kicks to Milton. There's the drive. They kick it out to Green. Pass to Niang. Let's it go. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Warriors leading by six. Curry dishes to Wiggins. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Here's Curry. He blocks it again. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And he's already patted himself on the back and forgot to put the ball there in the basket. Green kicks to Curry. Pass to Niang. Here's MB. And the dunk by MB. Nothing soft about the putback there. And, and why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Here's Curry. 
And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And two points for him. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Well, when you knock down jumpers like that, it opens everything else up as well. And the wide open shot from Green. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for them. Wiggins finds Curry. Now Kaminga. It's tipped. And Bede with the steal. Here's Milton. Another three for Philadelphia. A precision pass with Curry. Also excellent at seeing his guys when they're open. The Warriors have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Thompson outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission. And they have been tough to stop. Here's Green. And Wiseman sends it back. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. The long distance three is buried. Thompson's got 24. Once again, he's able to knock down the long-range jumper. He's on automatic. Just a brilliant game. Here's Curry, and the 76ers call time, time here. Time Clay Thompson with a strong contribution so far in this one. He's on another level right now. Knocking down threes left and right. The defense isn't doing their job, and I think they've got to talk about it quickly. Harris has checked in for Philadelphia. Maxie comes in for Shake Milton. And Golden State also making a change. Green, he's checked in for Kaminga. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He is upset about the perimeter play. He told the guys on the defensive end, stay connected to the shooters. On the offensive end, if you don't have an open shot, pass it around. You see if the ball starts to unstick, Kevin. Thank you, David. Boy, that's an outstanding job by Tobias Harris there, keeping his composure and concentration then converting while under pressure well done and along with terrific production Harris is an interesting team leader very positive in his approach And Greg, Harris has grown more vocal as his comfort level on the team has risen. And Kevin, he's always had it in him. Now that he's a veteran, he's earned the right. He always seems to bring the guys together. And it's Wiggins missing. 76ers have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Harris kicks to MB. Good. And Harris gets the assist. And it's 29 points for Joel MB. I'll tell you what, Embiid is not just an okay shooter. This guy is a terrific shooter. So you can't let him get comfortable, really, from any distance. He can knock it down from anywhere. Thompson outside. Wiggins surveying the floor. Curry on the wing. There's the three. Buries it from three-point range. Curry's got 14 points now in the second half. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. The pass to Embiid. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That is his first foul of the game. Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. Now, here's Maxie. 
guarded by Kerr. Here's the three. Maxi, no good. The Warriors leading. Green, the pass to Kerr. Puts up a three. And another three for Golden State. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Drummond passes to Harris. Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got seven rebounds in the game. Outside Curry. To the middle. It's stolen by Harris. And now the 76ers on the break. Here's Green. Warriors with the rebound. Thompson's got six rebounds now in the game. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Not just a shooter. Thompson more than capable of driving inside and attacking. Free throw good from Thompson. You know, coaches have dubbed Clay Thompson low maintenance in capital letters. And you have to think an elite scorer of his ability, who always is cool and composed and keeping his head, is an addition any locker room would want to have. And so Thompson nails both of them. So it's Philadelphia now. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Now, here's Maxi. Tight defense on him. And it's the Warriors' ball. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Wiggins passes to Curry. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Curry's got 30. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. You can feel the sense of urgency they have to get this thing closed out as soon as possible. Now, here's Maxi, covered by Wiggins. Pass to Green. Here is outside. Lock at six. And Wiseman sends it back. Outside Curry. Thompson for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. It's an eight-point differential. Here's Harris. Great tee that time from Green. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Yeah, and something we've seen the last few years, boxing ones thrown at Curry. Although they've had mixed success. And amazing to even consider using a box and one in the NBA, isn't it, Greg? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I, I agree. And it, it did work well in the 2019 finals. Curry has started to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has other options on offense. Free throw good by Curry. Arguably the most impactful player in modern NBA history. Stephen Curry has changed how the game is played. Really making this more of a three-point shooting league. Stephen Curry hits them both. The 76ers trail by 10. Here's Max. Kicks it to Harris. They get a hand on it. 
Lobbed up there for Drummond, and Drummond throws it down. Boy, that fancy alley-oop right there, that move by Drummond, the result of excellent communication with his teammates. Outside Curry. Wiseman finds Thompson. And it's sent back by Drummond. Curry's shot is off. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Thompson with it. Pass to Wiseman. On the wing, Wiggins. Headed by Green. Wiggins passes to Kirby. Off target from outside. Just a enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Back to Harris. Wiseman with the rebound. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. Man. And he gets the bucket. 16 points for Andrew Wiggins. Hey, it's a simple game. Just take what the defense allows. Wiggins reads it. Smooth with the mid-range stroke. Knock it down. The 76ers trail by eight. And Philadelphia calls time here. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. Well, you know, he's destroying them right now, guys. This defense has to make an adjustment to try and cool him off. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. Here's Harris. The 76ers again can't hit it. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Outside Curry to the paint. And Wiseman gets it to go on the assist by Curry. Curry's got his eighth assist in the game. One fifty-three left here in the fourth quarter. Harris with it. Now Green defending. Harris against Wiggins. Second shot opportunity. They kick it out to Green. From the arc. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Green's got six here in this quarter. And Green is a world-class sniper. Laser. An excellent shooter. Great at getting his puppy set on these shots from deep. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Harris. Weisman with the rebound. weisman has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Warriors. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And so this will now translate to 14 wins on the season. Important. With this win, they split the season series at a game apiece and also avoid the sweep, and that has to be a relief. You know, as interconference opponents tonight was their only chance to get that revenge. I mean, they won't see each other in the regular season again until next season. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Stephen Curry. Boy, the way he orchestrated the pace was impressive. I mean, moved the ball around, made good things happen with the pass. Well done. And that one's good. Wiggins. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something. I mean, you get road kill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done.
It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. So we see the Warriors get the win here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Draymond. One of the cliches of basketball is that the ball finds energy. When teammates are making shots, does that give you more energy? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. You know, when we're in the flow, the ball is just moving around. It allows me to play make, and you know, then I just try to find an open gap and take the shots where they are. Man, it was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long.